Welcome back to Doing Time with Dan. We're in Aruba on Palm Beach at Scott's Brat, specifically the Bloody Mary Bar. That's the subject of today's episode. We're going to make a delicious Bloody Mary here, and that's the whole concept that you make your own. They have all the ingredients here, and if you're not quite sure, there's also a recipe. So let's not waste any time. Let's make that Bloody Mary and recharge our batteries. Scott does the honors, pouring us a double shot. Note the Green Bay Packer helmet on the uh, top of the bottle there. Scott and Leslie are both huge Packers fans. All right, so Scott just poured me a double shot of vodka into a beautiful cup here filled with ice. I'll proceed to make the rest of the Bloody Mary. Our next step is a few shakes of Worcestershire sauce. Take the bottle right here. One, two, three Worcestershire's in there. And then we need a little bit of hot sauce because we like a little bit of kick in there, right? So let's go with, I don't know, four. Four, that'll give it some nice heat there. And then how about a little bit of horseradish because that'll take it up a little bit of notch. We'll also get some vegetables spoon here. I'm going to call that a third of a teaspoon more or less. Knock that in the top. Save the spoon for a little bit of stir action. Put that back there. Now we need a lemon or a lime. I like lime, so I'm going to go with lime today. And uh, we'll just squeeze that in there. After I'm done with this, I could be a bartender or something to give up the video game. Alright, there you go. And then just throw that in the trash can. Now, a piece of black pepper. As you can see, is in the Wisconsin uh, pepper shaker because these guys are from Wisconsin. Put a couple of shakes of black pepper in there for the heat. And now comes the celery salt. This is a critical ingredient. Scott lets them both stress that you got to make sure you put enough celery salt in there. This does have a lot of horsepower, so you know, do it according to your taste. I'm putting a lot in there because they know what they're doing and I trust them. You know? All right, and now the juice selection. They have V8, they have tomato, and they also have clamato. Leslie recommends half clamato and half V8. And that's the buzzer reminding me not to forget half Clamato and half V8. So I'm going to open the tomato, give it a little bit of a shake here. We'll go with half of that. All right, half V8. Be sure to get your veggies every day. All right, I'm going to stir this up a little bit here. Scott said you have to make sure everything is properly mixed. All right, this is looking better by the second, by the way. All right, and now we need a little bit of garnish. Some more vegetables as it is. I'm going to go with everything today because, you know, you like a variety of stuff. I pre-made up my little olive and pickle strip right here. Drop that in the top. And also, a stalk of celery. Right there you go. And that just plunge right in there. That, my friends, is a Bloody Mary made at the Scott's Brats Bloody Mary Bar. That's a great way to start the day. You just saw Scott flipping some eggs on the griddle there. He's making me a breakfast burrito to go with that Bloody Mary. Don't forget to like Scott's Brats on their Facebook page. The address is showing up right here on the video. Thanks for stopping by here at Doing Time with Dan. Stop down to Aruba. Enjoy Bloody Mary and more right here at Scott's Brats.